Okay, guys, so a quick video here from the U. Let me straight down here. Yeah, U two A three. Talking about percentiles. Uh, first, we'll introduce what percentiles are and quartiles, and that sort of thing. Make sense of it, and then we'll calculate them, which is a bit, uh, maybe a bit tricky. Uh, so a percentile here. Uh, percentiles are not the same as percentages. That so just to know that if a kid gets seventy two out of a hundred, uh, that's a percentage of seventy two. A percentile is more of a ranking. So percentile denoted by P, uh, divide a set of data into 100 equal parts. They are used for positional as positional measure to indicate what percent of observation in that data set have a value less than a specified value. So what does that mean? That means this. If we do something and figure out the 93rd percentile of something, that means that 93% of the people are below you. So uh, one place you'll see that is in university marks when, you're, when you get your marks. Forget about the raw data. So the reason they do this is um, let's let's say you took a course in biology and I took a course in biology. I took mine at uh, in London. You took yours in Toronto. Uh, you got an 85. I got an 85. Are those equal marks? Hard to hard to uh, to say. Yeah, they are equal marks. Another way to look at it would would be to say, look, uh, what place did you come in in your class? Well, I came in third place. Well, I came in 58th place. Well, how many people in your class? Uh, 3,000. How many in yours? 10,000. Okay, so it, again, it gets a little confusing. So one way you can do it is talk about your percent percentile ranking. So if we can go back and say, look, I beat 98% of the people. Uh, my mark was higher than 98% of the people. I'm the 98th percentile. That's one. That's me. You beat 99% of the people. You're uh, in your class. Um, you're in the 99th percentile. You win. Okay. So that that's kind of what a percentile is. Um, you see that a lot. Over here, you look here about growth charts. You see that for children, and you'll look, you'll see what the 50th percentile and is, and and, and you also see it um, when uh, before children are born. They do a lot of measurements to look at a baby before it's born to figure out what percentile it is in height and weight and that sort of thing. Um, and then as they are born, do they stay in the same percentile? You know, if you're in the seventh percentile when you're born and your 70th percentile a month later, and then you drop to the 50th percentile. Is there a reason for that, or is it completely normal? That sort of thing. Okay, so you see that with children and, and babies and, and grades and anything that involves ranking, but that's where you see it in real life. So just some things to look at here. The median is halfway in the middle, and then uh, when you look at quartiles, so we have percentiles, but you get even, you, you use different similar things. The median is right in the middle, so it's the 50th percentile. Okay, so right in the middle. Quartiles, sometimes instead of saying, look, let's let's talk about exactly what percentile everyone's in all the time, what you can do is uh, you can break up uh, data into what we call quartiles. And sorry, I'm just trying to get this to go here. You can, so what we'll do is here's a bunch of data. We'll rank you all, okay, from first to last. And instead of saying, what percentile are you exactly, we might break it down and talk about quartiles. So their median's in the middle. But the quartiles will break it into four pieces. So you have the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quartile, and the fourth quartile. So this will be the highest. And if we're doing marks, then this is where you want to be. This will be the lowest. The first quartile is the lowest. Second quartile gets you all the way to halfway. And third quartile is this chunk. And then and then here. So if this is you, so if we rank things at 100%, your friend Bill has the highest mark here. And then blah, blah, blah. And then your mark is here. Okay. So it's not 50%. It's not like you got 50% on the test, but you're in the 50th percentile. Okay. So you're somewhere between the 50th percentile and the 75th percentile as far as marks go. And that puts you in this quartile. Okay. So the third quartile. Okay. So that's just uh, grouping, grouping um, uh, data and talking about it in that way. Now give me a second here. Just going to readjust this here. Um, and then the other thing we looked at is, sorry, give me one second here. So that's quartiles. Deciles, you don't see that much, but it's it's breaking things up into, into tens or tenths. Okay, so back to my example, uh, what you'll do is you'll go, you'll break it up into groups of 10. Okay, I don't know if that's 10, but this is the first group. So you're in the bottom 10%. You're in the bottom 20%, or you're, sorry, you're between, if you're in the third decile, that means you are, so that's 0 to 10, 10 to 20, and then 20 to 30. So you're somewhere in here. You came... Uh, ranking wise you're in the 20th to 30th percentile give or take a little bit there okay uh so you're in here in the 20s essentially okay um and that's deciles so you don't see that that often but it, it, you can see how it makes sense to use that so now let's get to the math involved here it gets a little bit tricky uh even even when we get to even when we get to 
the median, sorry, even when we get to the median, when you're looking at even some simple data. So, for example, if I have, you know, rank people and, we, we, you know, we put you in order for number of siblings, you have one, two or three. OK, so this is uh, one of you. This is another one. This is another person. And I say, what's the median? Well, that's easy. It's two. Right. It's in the middle. But what happens if we have an even number? We got to get the average of these two. I don't know if you remember that, but we'd have to work out the average here. So anytime you, you look at, at getting the median of the percentile, it, it's a little more confusing than, than you think of. And what we try to do is we try to figure out what position that percentile is within the certain number of, of data points. So if we have n pieces of data, OK, we want to figure out if you're in this 58th percentile and I got all this data, right? Which, which number of data is equal to the 58th percentile? So real simple, if I have 100 pieces of data, 1 through 100, okay, and I rank all you guys for your marks, and I want to know the 58th percentile, then the guy who who's, has 58 people lower than them, that's the mark of the person in the 58th percentile. Okay, no big deal. Okay, that's easy. What happens if I have uh, 1,000? Okay, that gets a little more confusing. But what happens if I have 4,688? Okay, just a random number, throw a one in there too. Okay, 14,688 people. And I want to know who, what is, I, oh, I got the 63rd percentile. What what place, like how many people did I beat? That's one thing. And also, let's see, here's a bunch of, we could work it on it this way. Here's a bunch of data. You're in the 73rd percentile. What's your mark? Okay, if I have all the marks, I can figure that out also. Okay, so that's kind of what we're doing here. And it gets a little confusing. So let's let's stick with this this example that they use here. Okay, so I have this example here, not this example. Where is it? Where is my example? Give me a second. I'm gonna pause this for one second. Okay, so I found I found this here. So let's look at this. Um, so here's the deal. I got all this stuff here because uh, many people consider the number of calories in an ice cream bar. Note that. So here's a bunch of 22 different ice cream bars. Here's the calories that they have, and we ranked them from least caloric to most caloric. So so 111 calories is is uh is the the one with the least amount of calories. 439 is the one with the most. And then we're gonna ask you some questions. Where's the median? What's the first quartile, the third quartile, and the fourth decile? Now, the nice thing about the first quartile and third quartile and fourth decile, it also allows just to find percentile answers, okay? Because the first quartile is the 25th percentile, okay? So it's it's in 25th place. The third quartile is the 75th percentile, all right? And the fourth decile, that'll be the 40th percentile, okay? So you go from 0 to 25 to get to your first quartile. So if you're right there, you're on the first quartile, and then 50 that's the middle right here, okay, is the second quartile, third quartile, the 75, and then 100. So this is the third quartile, first quartile, okay? So you don't really find the quartiles, you find the percentiles. And to do that, the one thing you, you have to do is order the info, okay? So you order the info from, from first, so that's first, and that's 22nd. Now, the one thing is, when you have an even number, we said this before, when you have an even number of, of uh, pieces of data, you're going to not just have one, one center figure, okay? So there's two numbers in the middle here. Okay, and, and what we're going to do here is we're going to figure out exactly where, now this first one's easy, but we're going to figure out exactly where the median is between 209 and 234. And you should know this, it's right in the middle. Okay, but to do that, you're going to use this equation here. This will get you the position within a, an array of where your percentile lies. Okay, so you're going to use this right here to figure out what point you're at. So this, let's use this example. If we're in the 50th percentile, which is the median, right? Remember the median's right in the middle, so you're in the 50th percentile. And you want to figure out where you are as far as the 22 piece of data. Well, you know that you're between the 11th and the 12th piece of data. Okay, so if, if we count this, okay, if I count it, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th piece of data, and here's the 12th. So where am I? I'm in the middle of these two. Now, let's use the equation to show that that's what we're doing. What you do here is you use n plus 1 divided by 100 times x. So x here is the percentile that you're concerned with. n is the number of data points you have. And then you figure out where is your point. So here, I'm in the 50th percentile. So I have 22 pieces of data. There's 22 ice creams. 22 plus 1 divided by 100 times 50 is 11 and a half. So I want to be, I want to, so here, when I'm in the 50th position, okay, I start off at the 11th position and I go halfway between the 12th and the 11th position. So, so what I'm doing here is I go, I'm here, then I'm going to find out what, what's the difference between these two numbers here, and then I'm going to divide it by 2 and add it to my 209. So that's how I, I get to write in between those two data points. So I go through it, 209 was the, was the 11th point, the 12th point was this, the 11th uh, ice cream, sorry, the 12th ice cream uh, bar was this, the 11th ice cream bar was there. Between them, there's 25 calories. I am going to cons I'm going to be half halfway between those two, so 0 0.5 to 25. Now, the other stuff gets so that that's maybe not that difficult. 
Where it gets confusing is when we get to the percentiles. So let's just make sure we understand what's going on. First of all, we're talking about the first quartile. Remember that the first quartile is the same as the 25th percentile. So now I'm just going to talk about the 25th percentile. Okay. So now if it's 11, if I said there's 11 and a half, you know, I have, you know, between first and 22nd and 11 and a half is in the middle between first and 22nd, then the 25th percentile will be halfway in between here. So half of 11 and a half is then going to be 5.75. If you just go 11.5 divided by two, you get 5.75. So let's show that that's what we're getting uh, uh, mathematically. And again, it's 22, N is 22, okay? But now I'm in the 25th percentile, so I change this to 25. That's why I get the 25 here. So 22 plus one divided by 100 divided by 25, or times 25 is 5.75. So I'm, I am in the 25th percentile. Let's go back here. 25th percentile is 5.75, right? I said, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So between here and here, but I'm not in the middle between here. I'm three quarters the way here. I'm 0 0.75 the way to here, okay? So 179 and 151 were my two uh, calorie amounts, okay? So if I go here, when I start to work this out, I go the fifth position. So I'm at five and three quarters the way to the sixth position. So five, fifth position is 151 three quarters the way between 179 and 151. So I take 179, which was the sixth most caloric bar, and 151, which is the fifth most caloric bar. The difference between that two is 28 calories, and I'm three quarters the way there. So 0 0.75 times 28 will get me this here. Okay, and you do the same thing with the rest of them. The only thing you just gotta be careful here is third quartile, it means P75. So now I'm at the 75th uh, percentile, and when I put the, my X in, I'm here at seven, uh, 75 and I get 17.25. So I'm past the 17th point, one quarter of the way to the 18th point. So I figure out the 17th point. If we go back and look at the data, the 17th point is 319 calories. And then the 18th is 337. I'm one quarter of the way between them. Okay. So if I subtracted these two, I'd get 18. I'm a quarter of 18 between them. And then I figure out what that is. And I t total to 323 and a half. Okay. The fourth decile is the same as being in the 40th percentile, and you do the same thing as that. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. I, I think it should make more sense. This equation, even when I look at this the first time, I'm like, what's going on here? Okay, so take your time. Try to go through it. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Take care.